Palmyra, the ancient city in Syria, has been taken by Syrian state forces. The UNESCO-protected city is back in the hands of Bashar al-Assad. His forces, backed by Russian airstrikes, have inflicted the biggest defeat yet on the Islamic State group. Fighting continues to set up a double march on Raqqa and Deir Assur, bastions of ISIS. But as the media reports of Palmyra's liberation, there are those who warn that uh, the, but while the world-famous Roman ruins may now be safe from further destruction, it doesn't signal the end of the bloodshed for the people who are still there. The Western-backed rebels may be happy that ISIS has been ousted, but it's still Assad who holds power. Has ousting Assad, long the sole and ultimate aim of the Western-backed rebels, now been swept aside in the name of, well, somehow, political expediency and getting rid of the Islamic State jihadists? Well, I guess to discuss Palmyra, what happens next. Karim Malouf, journalist specialised in Islamic organisations covering the Middle East and Syria. I understand you're in Syria late in December. That's true. OK, we're looking forward to your insight. Thank you very much for joining us on the other side of our plateau, but not necessarily against, but we'll see as the argument develops. Jacques Mia, deputy for the Les Républicains, the centre-right party, of course, here in France, member of the Friends of Syria Group at the National Assembly in Paris. Jacques, thank you very much for being with us. And uh, Wael El Khaldi, who is uh, an activist and member of the Syrian Revolutionary Youth Movement. Thank you, sir, for joining us. Thank you very much for being with us. I think maybe you'll all agree, or you'll tell me if you don't, that whatever's happened in Palmyra so far, in terms of getting rid and forcing out the Islamic State Group, is a good thing. But is it viewed as a liberation? Carol, how do you view it? First, we have to bear in mind that we're getting information uh, from one side, which is the regime, and there is no way we can independently confirm any of the information that is coming out from this area. So uh, some of it might be propaganda for the regime, and we've been used to, to that, of hailing the regime. We don't know the number of casualties. We don't, we don't have any information from, you know, ISIS is a secret organization. No independent journalists have been allowed uh, since they've created their... Uh, so-called Islamic State. So we're relying heavily on one side of, of the conflict for information. And this is where we have to be careful how we deal with this information. However, we all think and believe that ISIS is an, a terrorist organization. But the question is that the Syrians are asking themselves today, is the alternative to ISIS really the, the Bashar regime going back and taking Palmyra? And, and if you ask the opposition who is currently in Geneva, of course, they will tell mm. you this is not what we would like to see. And they would like to see Palmyra more under, you know, under uh, the opposition, mm. uh, a free Palmyra from both ISIS and uh, and the regime. Indeed, it reminds me of uh, something a wise man once said to me in England, that your enemy's enemy is not necessarily your friend. And that is very much the situation, isn't it? Jacques, I'd be interested to hear what you've got to say about this, because obviously, you know, your, your insight uh, politically gives us uh, an, another aspect to this uh, story. Well, first of all, we have to take into account that uh, the ISIS is on a setback everywhere, not only in Syria, but also in Iraq. So, in fact, uh, this is true that... Uh, the bombing, the Western bombing, the Americans bombing, the Russians bombing have helped the regime. There is no doubt about that. Even when we, on the Western side, we say, of course, that uh, we are not very friendly with the regime. So this is the first, military speaking, the ISIS movement is, uh, you know, losing ground very much. It doesn't mean it's finished, not yet, and it will take time. Secondly, the question of the... Uh, let's say the gaining again of the, the regain of the Palmyra by the regime is of course a symbolic victory for the regime. It doesn't mean that I approve every aspect of the regime, but I think that the, the mistake we have we have made in in, the, in Europe, in France especially, is that we we were expecting that Bashar was going to fall before Christmas in 15 days in six like that, and I, I think it was a mistake. You, you, even if we don't like, if we don't like, of course, uh, this regime, and I can understand your position that you're going to express in no, two seconds. No, the same mistake has been made by the regime. He was expecting that we will be silenced in 15 days too, and we will stop asking him to no, move well, out. And I he, think he that, was saying that in his media no, no. and his uh, speech. Yeah. I can bring you take his speech account, again. Take into account that... Uh, the, you know, the, the capacity of resistance of the regime was much stronger than we have fancied about it. Mm. So this is my, my point. And if we, have, if we want, and I'm sure you want that, a political solution, you will have to take into account the regime as it is, not as you wish it should be. 
Let's still take out first of all, sorry, but let's take out first of all uh, 100,000 Iranian uh, militias with him. Let's take out this 1,000 airplane and Russian uh, bombs and all of that stuff and let him stand instead of his people. Well, I don't believe that someone in French or in Europe uh, still believe that uh, the Assad should stand more against his people, which is, I mean, unbelievable for a democracy country, for democracy, United Europe, to say something like that anymore again. There is a blood in the streets. I mean, there yeah, is people. Yeah. I don't mind who took Palmyra back or took Palmyra. It's the same for us. As long as Palmyra people are not in there, as long as Palmyra people is, are not in the, in the... Our correspondent in Jordan spoke to refugees from uh, Palmyra who said they, they would be scared of going back because they have no trust in the Assad regime. Let me tell you something. It is a program before, just like Al Qusayr city. We said, well, they have to liberate, uh, liberate uh, Al Qusayr from that ter- terrorism and all of that stuff. And now, more than almost one million people are transferred after. It's the first transfer after mm. uh, uh, a, the Russian part. Uh, mm. I mean uh, that section. Uh, well, it is very dangerous what's going on now on the, on the ground. Uh, liberating, I mean, uh, transferring people just to... to, to, to yes, I, uh, I can understand that. But you forget one thing. This is no more, uh, let's say, a defined civil war. This is a war by proxies. Mm. And you forget to mention that Saudi Arabia, Qatar, Turkey have sent into the uh, Syria amount of weapons. And this is because of this, uh, you know, uh, quarrel which w- took place between the Russians, the Iranians, and the regime on one side. And on the other hand, Turkey, Saudi Arabia, and Qatar, that this conflict has been going on and on. So this is very clear that you should not forget this is a war by proxies. But and this is the danger of this kind but, of conflict. But I think what is dangerous is what, what you're saying, what you've said. First, you mentioned that if you want a political solution, you have to take the regime as it is. Well, after five years and almost 250,000 people dead, more than 11 million between uh, internally displaced and refugees, if the regime does not concede or come to terms with, what, with whatever the people wanted, then this is a problem. This is one. And second, uh, if, this, if we're talking about proxies and international interference, uh, allow me to remind you that there were peaceful protests that started this war, the proxy war that you, are, you have just mentioned. That's and, those, and those, and those no, peaceful no, protests... Just allow, allow me to continue. Those yes. peaceful protests were fired upon by the regime. So the people were obliged to defend themselves. Let's, let, no, no, wait a minute. This is true. There has been repression, as we call it. And this is true. And that the protests, been the protests blocked, were peaceful protests, to begin with. Yes, I mean, have been, they have been crushed down. They have been crushed down. But on the other hand, everyone knew that behind this kind of peaceful protest was organized Islamic Terrorists. This is an assumption. No, sir. no, 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 no. This is not an assumption. Let me tell you one thing. Hang on. Are you saying, Once, Jacques, from the very start, that what was happening in the streets in Derry, it was all as, as, as Assad mistakes. was saying? This that is true. Assad said at the start it was all organized no, by no, Islamists. No, no, no. It's not only organized. It's not blue and white. You see, it's, it's not. It's, it's, not, a it's not as clear as that. Of different approach and attitude and policies of different. Can groups. I ask? Would you to accept what Jacques just said that there were Islamist elements in those in those protests I, to begin I, with? I would say something. I mean, if we are talking about Islamic Islamist uh, fighters, why would not mention uh, actually the the Shiist fighters with the regime? Well, while they are fighting underneath a flag of Shia, Liwa Abu al-Fadl al-Abbas, all that uh, Shia's names. Why we are just always mentioned that there is ISIS and Nusra. Well, we but, are, we are, we are. I think, I think Jacques, Jacques did, yes. Jacques did yes. talk about a proxy war, yes. so I think that's exactly what but, he was getting let, at, let's I think, get, to be fair. Let's get our facts straight and to, the to, like an, on a timeline. The demonstration, demonstration started on March 2011. It was not only until uh, January 2012 that Jabhat al-Nusra, al-Qaeda affiliate in Syria, came out and declared their presence. So there was almost 10 months where the regime was oppressing the people who were asking for freedom and dignity. They were killing children. They were, they, they, they were tanks inside the, the, the streets in Dara, in, in, Tel, in Damascus. On, our analysis made by the Minister of Foreign Affairs of France stress that this protest and behind those protests, there were Islamic movements. You cannot deny that. And I can I tell can you one thing. That. I can tell you one thing. But what is wrong it with happened, Islamist it happened movements? The way, 
that uh, allow me to ask you a question what is wrong with having islamist movements can, can you explain country. to me because there are 80% you know, of sunnis in syria the point is you know where it starts you don't know where it finishes and this is the application of the sharia and this is why i say there's been big mistakes made by this regime i totally agree with you and we were moved inside france because when they really crushed down those uh, movements. But behind those movements, there were organized Islamic terrorists. They were there. And I, I was in 2010. I was in Syria. We met at the French embassy. We met, you know, uh, Christian minorities. And they said clearly to us, and to me especially, that they had no problem with the regime, but they felt this mounting Islamic, you know, terrorism well, in this country. Too much. Okay, I have, I have, I have, I have, let them reply. Let them reply. Let them reply. I just have one question. So why did the regime release the Islamists from Saïd Maya prison then? No, Islamic State has been prompted by the silly policy of the Americans in Iraq in 2006. Never forget that. It has been financed by uh, Saudi Arabia and Qatar. Then it has been also financed uh, by the Turks. And this is true that at the stage, the regime uh, liberated some Islamic when the Americans tried to kill Bashar himself. So he said, my enemy, uh, the, uh, my enemy are the enemies of so my friends. So he facilitated. Mm. So, so what you're saying is basically no, no, this, it, Bashar it is place. a partner is in it facilitating in the rise of terrorist organizations in Syria. It so you agree in, with that statement? Carol, it was in 2013 what you mentioned, but it started all before. No, me, and let, never forget that this <clears> war <throat> is not blue and white. And you have to stand totally on one side, you miss half of the solution on the other Jacques, side. Jacques, allow way out to speak. You did the same about black and white. You are standing with the Assad totally, and then you said no. there's something on the other side. Let me tell you something. It is a Muslim people there. I mean, it's Muslim country. It's not another, I mean, we're not talking about what do you a mean Christian it's a country. Muslim country. It is, they are Muslims. Yeah, 10% uh, uh, of Christians. 10% are... of Christians. Well, we, so, they are welcome there more than before than yeah, sure. hundreds but of But they years. are not standing no, 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 no. with the Islamics. Wait, wait. For, no, it's not Islamics. It's, it's totally different. Muslim people usually to go to speak in Islam and to go to pray to mosque. When they got someone there, they go to the mosque. It's normal life. So why? It's comes from the mosques. Doesn't mean that they are Muslim Islamists. It's totally different. It doesn't start until Assad 2013 released those Islamists. This is he did true. that. He know that he did. This is cool there. They are building this that. This is not true. I'm sorry. Uh, to, I'm to sorry. That. This is the truth. You know, you, no, no, no. It's there. not true. I, I tell you why. You I tell you why. Because this uh, so-called Freedom Arabic movement, which started in Tunisia and then uh, reached uh, uh, Egypt and then Dubai and then Syria, Behind all those movements, you have organized uh, 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 like Hanushi, like uh, you, you know, are, the Islamic you are, you Brotherhood are, in You are Tunisia. saying that the Syrian people, they are all ISIS. This is no, the big no, mistake no, no, we are no, doing now. Let me, sir. I don't sir, say that. Allow, allow let Carol speak. Allow me. For the longest time, the Muslims and the Sunnis in the Arab world, and I, I'm personally, I'm not Sunni, but I have witnessed the oppression that has been taking place by the so-called secular dictatorships in that part of the world. When there is an agenda by the West, as perceived by the people on the people who happen to be predominantly Sunnis, that there is an agenda to oppress them, of course they will resort to violence. If we do not try to bring justice to that part of the world and to show people that we are by their side, of course they will resort to the rest we? of the world. The rest of the world. Well, we, did, you, did, you stand, did you stand by, years, did you stand by the people uh, of Syria for the past 50 years, 50 decades of oppression? Do you know when, when I speak to my friends, and allow me if I can have mm -hmm. one minute, you know when I talk to people about Palmyra, the first thing they say, the first thing we remember is Sijan Tedmur. You know what this means? It's the prison, the underground prison that the regime had yes. in Palmyra for the past 50 years. People who go to Palmyra never get go out of Palmyra. Where was the West when, when the majority, the Sunni majority, was paying the price of an oppressive so-called secular dictatorship? Jacques, if you, if Jacques, you allow, did, did, the, okay. did the West know about the prison, I'm very surprised did, did, the West, by that. did the West know about the prison? 
I'm surely we knew. Okay. We knew also that the, the father of Bashar has, uh, you know, killed almost 20,000 people at Anna. Uh, in Hama. Hama, yeah? Yes, in this the 80s. Is, uh, we knew, we knew. But, but still the but West. when the he West came to power, it. hold on a second, please. When he came to power, we had the impression, and I met in, in Damas, few young ministers, and we had the impression maybe we have a chance that the regime can evolve and can a more democratic one. Unfortunately, and I agree with you that the old, uh, you know, guard mm -hmm. stopped all the reforms, maybe not all, but few of them, and they kept power very closely in their hands. This is true. But never forget that behind all this, you have a spread movement of Islamic terrorism throughout the Arabic world. Most and of this the old is guard, true. Sorry, sir. Most, most of the old guard has been killed 2011 no, no, and no, Damascus that by killed. that big bomb, no, no. you see, 2012. Sure. So after that, why Bashar didn't bring the democracy again to Syria? You see, don't tell me that. I mean, he is yeah. just... And I'm going was to being, tell you uh, one thing. Lot of to on speak, his, to speak. I mean, there is a problem here. I mean, in your... In your <laughs> New approach, a lot of, I mean, you are on the one side, not us. No, I'm actually. not on the one side. Let me tell you side. something. Bashar at 2012 has big opportunity to bring peace to his country, to bring democracy to his country. Actually, we believe we are all against ISIS. All the Syrian people actually are against ISIS. It's not the idea of it's ISIS guilty or not guilty. They are guilty. Bashar is a terrorist, was killing people 11 th years before, let's say 40 years before people has been killed in Palmyra. Yeah. Slowly, can, wait. And ISIS no are doing this fast. It's just another face of terrorist. One is slow and another one is fast. Just like that. I mean, it's this is for the Syrian people. Simple. I'm going to tell you one thing. Jack, I need to pause you there because we need to take a very, very short break, but you will get the chance to take up exactly from that point when we come back after that okay. break. Uh, don't forget, of course, you too can join this debate via the hashtag on Twitter, F24Debate, or uh, why not tweet me directly at uh, Marco in F24. First of our, of our debate is over. Short break after that, the headlines, and of course, back to this discussion. Stay with us. The pause is